Reign of the Seven Spellblades. At first, it looked like Harry Potter because look at that. It's Hermione, and then there's Ronald Weasley, and then there's anime Harry Potter. He pretty much is anime Harry Potter. He's just broken main character. You will... Okay, so the main thing I want to talk about is the pacing of this because there's so much going on. There's so many characters, and you will not really care about any of them, I'll be perfectly honest, because none of them are given enough time. Like, there's the main character, Oliver... Is it Oliver Cromwell? No. I know his name is Oliver. If his last name is Cromwell, then so be it. But there's a moment when we're focusing on him and his backstory and what he's there for. He's there to get revenge. And he, it just lists all the people who he's after. Like, oh, what's that movie? Kill Bill style. Like, show them. It's like, I will get my revenge on them. And then it's dropped. Dropped like a bloody rock. And then we're focusing on the... Uh, the girl who's interested in animals and plants and she's like, oh, I'm trying to get this troll to talk and then, oh no, you can talk and now this person wants to experiment on me because I somehow got the troll to talk and that's why they want to experiment on me. Okay, that's done that, now let's focus on something else and it just changes and changes and the very last arc, it, the shame is it's given a lot of episodes for its first season. It's given, I believe, 15 episodes. That extra three episodes gives a lot. That's an hour extra screen time for the entire series and it's not used well, because the last quote-unquote arc, yeah, I'm going to name them arcs, because it just leaps from plotline to plotline to plotline. Like, there's a tournament section that happens, quote-unquote tournament. It is, it's just a tournament. They're like, oh, I'll fight you, and then I'll fight you. Oh, you know the basics. Do the basics. Oh, okay, bye. I'm done now. And then the last one is when they focus on this character who is... I don't even know if I can talk about it on YouTube. But well, they talk about it on anime, but loads of things talk about it on anime. Essentially, she's got this pheromones, and she can't be friends with any males, and then her whole life is ruined. It's, it's so weird, because at first, when we see her flashback, she's all nice. She, she's right here. There she is. Uh, it's like, yeah, it's okay. I'm gonna be friends with you, because I'm a guy. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, there's happy times. Yeah. And then just certain random fuckers are like... Well, I bet you used your pheromones to be friends with him. And then suddenly she's very evil. It's awful. It's god-awful. Which is a shame. Because it did have potential, despite the fact that it's just Harry Potter. I mean, look at these look at these robes. And yes, they do have different colors, but they did them for years. Definitely avoid all that copyright. Uh, world building. It tries, like they do. Look, here's classes. Here's teachers. Okay, they're bon gone now. I had a book. Oh, I love your book. What was your book about? Uh, and then they go, oh, there's also Asia where people fight with swords and they don't know magic. And it's like, okay. Anything from that? Nope. Okay, now we're going to talk about brooms. Brooms are alive. Brooms are living creatures. Like, oh, okay. This is interesting, to say the least. And this girl here, Kanoa, she's that, she sees the main character's mother is broom. It's like, oh. So we're going to learn more about the broom or... Uh, the character's brooms. It's like, no, nope, she just now has this broom. And it's a special broom. Okay, what's so special about it? Uh, it belonged to the main character's mother. Does it do anything special? Is it... No, not really. Uh, and the spells... At least Harry Potter did well with its spell explaining. I'll say many bad things about Harry Potter, but... One of the things I do like is the spells. Expelliarmus. Literally in the name, Expel Arms. And they explain how the swish and flick. Very basic scene in the first movie, but it explains so much about the spells and you pay attention to how characters will move their hands. In this, they just shut their fucking wand out like it's their second head and say the magic words, bubbly bubbly boop. It's just, it's just... Like, they try their best to, like, when they do the animal class and they're like oh look at these animals we put magic into them and then they grow over time okay why are we doing this for an experiment just to experiment okay are we gonna do anything like this again nope good we got orcs and then i'm oh, not orcs sorry trolls they look like orcs they look like giant goblin orcs the trolls in this oh sorry the troll <laughs> so would i recommend this absolutely not Unless you're very curious to how bad the pacing is and how you don't really care about what's going on. I got through the 15 episodes because I was curious. I was curious if they were actually going to focus for more than one episode on something. Well, they kind of do for two episodes, but 
This is like that. Imagine a... Oh, sorry, but that's time for me. Imagine if... Like for an entire One Piece arc, but they just squished it all into two episodes. It's that level of... Wow. Well, that happened. Moving on, I guess. So yeah, sadly, I would not recommend Reign of the Seven Spellblades. It's pretty bad. I mean, you can watch it. It's in something in the background. It's nice to look at. Anyway, until next time, bye.